What's going on guys? I'm Matt from Mind Workshop and today we're going to be building my own custom workstation. This project has been on my list for a very long time. I definitely had a thrown together set up here right behind me. I, I knew it was time for a new desk, but there's a certain way I wanted to look and I was nervous I would be able to pull it off. But with all said and done, this is one of my favorite things I've ever made so far. So let's jump into the build. Okay, so the cabinet for the PC is basically done. I do want to go back and add uh, some roundovers to these edges. But other than that, uh, the basic frame is complete and I can use that to move forward. I did leave a panel in the back just screwed in, no glue attached that way. Uh, that's where the wire management basically is gonna happen. If I need to change any PC parts, I'll be able to access it from there. I did go ahead and build the big set of drawers, which we'll go take a look at now. Okay, so here is the cabinet with the drawers that I put in, and this is gonna hold all the stuff for the electronic station, all the tools, materials, stuff like that. I also left a access panel in the back, and what's going in there is the Sour Patch Kid dispenser. I have a video on that that I did a little bit ago, so I suggest checking that out if you're interested. And it's just gonna be a can dispenser that rises in and out of my desk, but all the electronics are gonna be stored behind where these drawers are. But with these two things built, now I can go inside, put them in place, and get some more measurements for the other things that we need. The basic frame of the table is now complete. It's screwed to the wall, it's leveled off, it's where it needs to be. But I'm gonna have to take this all apart and paint and sand it. Although that does kind of suck, it's what I wanted to do just in case I missed something or something really needed to be cut out. And then I don't have to paint and sand again after I thought I was done with that stage. So once it gets assembled, then I'll just take it apart and do that part. With that all being said, I can go ahead and start to measure the keyboard slide and then another drawer that's gonna go on the top part of the desk. All right, so the tabletop's on finally for the first time, and there's a little gap where it meets the wall, but I think that'll be all right. I'll throw some molding on that, and it'll be fine. Uh, there's also gonna be covered a lot anyway with the solder rework station, uh, this other plug-in station that I'm gonna have, basically all the ports that are gonna go to the PC, uh, a special maker tool showcase that we'll get into a little bit later as well, and also the Sour Patch Kid dispenser. So we're gonna have two outlets. One's actually gonna be a USB outlet slash charger that's gonna go inside of this left side with the two game box. And then we're gonna have a bunch of keystone connections to the right side. And that's what's gonna have the ethernet, the HDMI and all that good stuff in there. And then also at the bottom is where the amplifier for my in-wall speakers is. That way I can access them from the top of my desk easily. So there's a couple more things that I'm waiting to get delivered, mostly the buttons that I can start working on the control panel and get that all figured out. But while I'm waiting for that, I can go ahead and start to cut out the logo that I'm going to be putting on the tabletop itself. And I can also round off some of them quarters. All right, so now it's time to cut this logo into this tabletop here. And then I'm gonna inlay that with some aluminum and copper to match the colors of my logo. One big thing that I learned, don't be stingy with the tape. The more the shaper tape that you have on there, or domino tape, I guess you can call it, uh, the better.
So the last thing is to get tested for the desk is the Sour Patch Kids dispenser and the little pull-out control panel. Now the control panel features the button for the Sour Patch Kid dispenser, a button to turn off my PC, which has a little protector on there so I can't hit it by accident, another button for lighting, and then the Elgato Stream Deck. And that is all slidable in and out right next to my chair. That way I can access this whenever I want and it's easier to push back and stay out of my way. Now the Sour Patch Kids dispenser I printed out a tube basically to fit around the whole dispenser for it to sit in. That way on its way up, it doesn't get misaligned and can't hit the top of the desk while it should be going through the desk. So I also had threads on that bigger tube. That way a lock nut can sandwich that tube with the top flange where the LEDs are held. And then that lock nut and the wood just stays right in between there and everything stays nice and tight. With everything being tested, I can now go ahead and dismantle everything so I can sand and paint it. My least favorite part. All right, so the painting's finally done. I have the metallic finish on the drawers and the PC cabinet. That way they match the wall behind me. I also have some copper angle wrapping around the parts that are gonna be exposed that you can see for the PC, like on the side and in the front. I also went ahead and ran all of the wires for the desk. Now it looks like a giant mess, but everything is marked and labeled where it needs to go. And I'm basically just waiting for that tabletop to finish and we'll get to that in a second. But right now I'm going to be mounting all the monitors behind me. All right, so here is the tabletop. I spent a long time trying to get the coat of paint on this thing as even as I could. I first tried to use spray cans, which left a bunch of visible lines. So instead of doing that, I went and actually picked up a paint gun, which was way faster and gave me a way better coat. So moving on to the epoxy pour now that all the letters are glued in, I taped off the spot where the plug-in station is gonna be, and I also taped off the spot where the Sour Patch dispenser is gonna be. And that should keep the resin from wanting to fall down. On the sides of the table though, I'm actually gonna let the resin flow over top and then try to just wipe off the excess on the bottom. But we're gonna see how that goes. I actually had a rough time of finding out information of epoxy sticking to latex paint. So this is almost like a giant experience and that I'm not nervous about at all. At all, I'm not nervous at all. It has been over 72 hours for the epoxy to cure on top of the table and now I can go ahead and remove the tape around the areas on the table where I stopped the resin from pouring down into and I have to trim off some of the excess flow on the back of the table. That way it sits flush on the two by threes that are gonna hold this thing up. I'm actually really excited on how this came out for my first flood coat. I think it did really good. There was tiny little bubbles and some dust that I didn't get out all the way that I would have liked to, but for my first attempt, I think it turned out really well. But I am actually super excited to see this tabletop on the desk for the first time while it's painted and get everything put together.
And with that, the desk build is finally complete. I could not be more happy with this thing. Uh, I was super nervous about this whole project from start to finish, but it turned out honestly better than I had imagined it would. And I'm very excited to do future projects on this desk instead of the one that I previously had. So I know four screens seem a little excessive and to that, anyone who's used more than one screen knows that they'll never go back to having that one if they already had two. Super inconvenient to have one monitor. Four is a little excessive. I probably went this route because I play a decent amount of video games and it kind of goes with the whole setup vibe. But I find if I'm doing uh, video edits, I'll actually definitely have three screens open because I'll from the SD card, I'll see the file and then I'll swing that down to the screen to watch the video. And then if that video is the one that I want to keep, then I swing that into another folder. So that's three monitors right there. And then you got to have your music on one. So there's four. So it's definitely a, a combo of things because I don't have the most space uh, in the basement. I definitely have a lot more than most, but which I'm fortunate for. But I'll have a, like a separate stations where I can go and do everything. So this kind of has to be where videos get edited, uh, my electronics station, and then also like a working and testing station as well. And that's what is so helpful about the plug-in station, being able to have all those ports easy uh, it can stick in a USB drive that has files on it. I can stick in a headset adapter, uh, another monitor, mic, webcam, any of that stuff I have right in front of me. And that's going to allow and cut down on the amount of wires that I have on top of the desk. Uh, another thing with testing Raspberry Pis and computers, I have an HDMI port right at the plug-in station that goes to my bottom right monitor. So this is going to allow me to plug in from whatever device I'm using as an out so I can see if it's putting out an image without having to go grab and run and get another screen. All I have to do is just change the input on my bottom right monitor and then I can see it putting out its own image. Now before this desk, I would kind of be going and running around to different spots wherever I had the things to go do the task, like even soldering a wire together, I have to go get the solder and iron out of the cabinet, bring it back, find wire, and it's all those little things which hopefully this is gonna cut down on all that extra time. So there is a couple of things I wanna add. The biggest one probably being the Maker Tool display case, and that's gonna go right next to the Sour Patch Kid dispenser. And what that's gonna be is stuff from uh, Jimmy Dresta, like some of his knives that I have. Uh, Jocko whatever's coming out with a screwdriver, uh, the kinetic driver, if you haven't seen that, I think it's super cool. Uh, and any other tools from people that I watch and I, I appreciate and who inspire me, I would like to have them on my desk and then have a little light up display to shine down on them, but also also be able to use the tools, which is cool. Another thing is a wireless phone charger to have on my desk. I think that'd be cool. That way it could sit on a little stand. Uh, but I'm going to do something a little different with that. I want to do like a Halo 3 themed project to also have that on there. Alright, so everything on the control panel is the Elgato Stream Deck. Underneath that is the little switch for the LEDs. Now that only controls the lights for the Sour Patch Kids for now, but that light is also going to control other things that are going to come later to the desk. Now last but not least is the Sour Patch Kids button and all you have to do for that is just slide it up and down and the motor will act accordingly on whichever way you want the Sour Patch Kids container to go. We have some other videos if you'd like to check them out like actually building the Sour Patch Kid dispenser. Uh, there's plenty of videos coming up, like I said before. Uh, the next one's actually probably going to be a the phone charger I have going on, and then also <laughs> another workstation that's going to be on wheels, but not like the other one. This one is actually going to be able to roll out of here to the garage to hook up to a projector screen if we need it, and that's also going to be Ryan's desk, so we're not fighting for this desk when he's here. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button while you're there. With all that being said, I'll see you guys next time.